Behind me is one of the most controversial pieces of real estate in the world. The Temple Mount is the holiest site in Judaism and the third holiest in Islam. Muslim tradition says that Muhammad traveled here to the Al-Aqsa Mosque on his famous night journey. And that tradition forms the basis for the Palestinians' claim to Jerusalem. Arabs claim Jerusalem as the Islamic city of Al-Quds. But there's no record that the Prophet Muhammad had ever been there. And even his armies didn't arrive there until five years after his death. The city of Jerusalem isn't mentioned even once in the Quran, while the Hebrew Bible mentions it more than 600 times. In Muhammad's lifetime, it was a fairly unimportant city in the Byzantine Empire. It was a Christian city without a single mosque. When the Muslims conquered Jerusalem, they chose to build their mosques on the Jewish Temple Mount, believing it to be a holy site. There they built the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa, whose name was copied from the story of the night journey in the Quran. Several Muslim scholars placed the construction of the mosque around 690, while Muhammad died in 632. So how could Muhammad's famous night journey have taken him to a mosque in Jerusalem that wouldn't be built until after his death? The Quran doesn't mention Jerusalem, but says that Muhammad's dream flight took him to Al-Aqsa, which means the farthest place. Early Islamic scholars interpreted that to mean a heavenly place, or the courtyard of Allah. That all changed as Islam evolved into a political force. During the Crusades, the Muslim general Saladin changed Islamic tradition to strengthen the Muslim claim to Jerusalem. He stated that Muhammad's flight took him not to heaven, but to the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. And today, the Jewish Temple Mount is also the third holiest site in Islam, second only to the Arabian cities of Mecca and Medina. Muslims believe that once they claim a piece of land, it belongs to Islam forever. Still, at the beginning of the 20th century, Islamic leaders acknowledged the Temple Mount's Jewish history. In 1924, Jerusalem's Supreme Islamic Council published this tourist pamphlet on the Temple Mount. It says the site's identity with the site of Solomon's Temple is beyond dispute. This, too, is the spot, according to the universal belief, on which David built there an altar unto the Lord. The pamphlet also describes the underground chamber the Crusaders called Solomon's Stables. It dates probably as far back as the construction of Solomon's Temple. In 1927, a strong earthquake damaged the mosque, and during renovations, Archaeologists analyzed the structure. They found beams made from cedar of Lebanon and Cyprus, dating as far back as the 9th century BC, around the time of King Solomon, who had used those very materials to build the first Jewish temple. The excavations also uncovered a Jewish ritual bath from the second temple, and a mosaic believed to be part of a Byzantine church.